world would not be the same. Few people cried. Most people were silent. I remember the line from Hindu scripture, Bhagavad Gita. Vishnu takes on a different form and says, Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. Listen, there's... Hello, welcome to another Gats of the Month 3 video. And today, we're going to be taking a look back at Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 2. Thirty years later. Just finished watching it, and does it still hold up? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> this is the reason why this film is so well preached. Like, the score is great. The characters are great. I think the most... I think my favorite character is Asusa and uh, Ted Alto guy. Not Ted Alto. And mostly Asusa, because she is pretty memorable. And uh, Mickey Sagusa is probably the best character, best role she's had in the Heisei era. And I think the kaiju action is actually pretty good. It actually has the best kaiju action so far. The soundtrack, amazing. Best soundtrack in any Godzilla film, I can say that. As my favorite soundtrack, 
I will agree this is the best soundtrack in any God's Love film. And I just love this film. And I think it's probably one of my most watched Heisei film. I'm pretty sure it's my most watched Heisei film. Because I've watched this film so many times. So, so many times. So, for watchability, it's pretty good. I think this film is peak Heisei, if I'm being honest. It's peak Heisei. It's honestly probably the top two in the Heisei era. Top two, definitely. Definitely in the top ten. Top two in the Heisei era. And it's easy the best Heisei film out there. One of the, but is it the best Mega Godzilla film? It sometimes switches back and forth between Godzilla against Mega Godzilla and this one. The, it mostly depends on which one. It mostly depends on my opinion, but um, uh, uh um contemplating on that. <laughs> it's hard to pick between this one and Godzilla against Mech Godzilla because they're both good films. I would literally have to have a debate with somebody saying which film is better. I have to have two people picking one. I need like someone saying maybe like can get like Fruit Nikomono saying Godzilla vs. Godzilla 2 and Chris. I should have done that. <laughs> but uh, if I had to choose hmm, I'm going to put it like this I think this film is the better Mecha Godzilla film but the Mecha Godzilla but I love Godzilla it's Mecha Godzilla against Mecha Godzilla for I think Kiyu is the best Mech Godzilla, but I think Godzilla vs. Mech Godzilla 2 is the best Mech Godzilla film. Uh, if I had to rank the Mech Godzillas, it'd probably be Q, the number one, obviously. Also, because I'm a fan of Q. <laughs> Q, obviously, the best Mech Godzilla. Best Mech Godzilla, period. But I will admit that this film is probably the best Mech Godzilla film. Honestly, the best Mechas Love film. Uh, it is for many reasons. But if I probably watch Godzilla against Mechas Love, I'll probably change my mind right away. But it, I think it just happens when I watch it. I just switch back and forth. These two, those two movies, switch back and forth, which one I think is favorite. That they're pretty much tied. They're like, it depends on which day I watch it, how I'm feeling. They switch back and forth, back and forth. But I think this one is pretty solid. It's one of the best Heisei films. And do I think it deserves... And like I said in my Toku rating, I said it's 10, 9 out of... I think I got my ratings right here. But I think I'll give it like a 9.5. A 9.5 out of 10. It's easy, one of the best Heisei films. Honestly, peak Heisei. Peak Heisei. Peak Heisei. It's so good. And I just love this film. It's perfect. It's it's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Down to the last Frederick detail. I love this film. But... As you can tell, I do get like a Godzilla against my Godzilla poster, so. Eh. <laughs> but mm, if I had to choose which one's my favorite, I would obviously go with Godzilla against my Godzilla poster because of the soldier fat though, and plus I got to meet the actor who played a con him. So. But then again, Godzilla vs. Godzilla is probably a really good film. Uh, it's back and forth. I probably uh, back and forth, back and forth. With that said, 
I love this film. It's pretty decent. It's not decent. It's awesome. It's in my top ten. Probably at like number six, I believe. Number seven, I believe. Top number seven in my top ten. Should probably do like an update version of my top ten. Top day since Godzilla videos, which will also be in another Godzilla month. I'll probably do like a live stream making them all. Yeah. But with that said, it's such a good sound. But with that said, I love this film. Best easy film. It still holds up after 30 years later. Still holds up. I love this film. It holds up 30 years later. Holds up right away. It's perfect in every way. I love this film. It's probably my most rewatched Heisei film. My next two guys was, well, yeah, probably my next two guys was Destroyer. I think, I think, now this one's probably my most watched. Because I remember, like, I used to be in this film all the time. When I was young, I would bring it on to road trips. I would bring it everywhere. This <laughs> I would legit bring this movie on road trips. And I believe this was if I'm going off memory, I believe this was my first Mecha Godzilla film that I saw. Good way to start, eh? <laughs> but with that said, we sign off. And remember, stay big, G fans. See you in the next one. Bye.